here and and get a little further in, in, in their journey. Might have to hold that thought. I think we're hopping into the match, but uh, I think we kind of are. That's yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, the only segue I have here is that Vincent's definitely one of them. He's been one of my students that I've had for quite a long time, and I've kind of like seen him make a ton of progress in a ton of different matchups. So yeah. time to see if uh, everything I've said about Sheik is going to come through, and hopefully I was correct about it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. Um, and I think this is a pretty common uh, matchup for mm -hmm. for a Peach main to have to run into. Oh, just undershoots mm -hmm. that grab, but I, I like a lot of his punish game and decision making so far. Mm -hmm. This matchup, one of my favorite uh, things to look for as a Peach player is down tilt, right? How are you going to figure out how to weave in the down tilt either as an anti-air, as a crouch cancel punish on tilts? Uh, it's just Peach's biggest, most juicy combo opener. It's not always easy to land, but it's so juicy that you really want to like structure your neutral around finding a way to hit it. Yeah, I think that's such a huge part of your game plan is figure out what what is your launcher, what's your key opener move, mm -hmm. and, and what situations in neutral are you playing around to try to find that on a consistent basis. We see Vincent trying to fight for the ledge. Of course, this is going to be one of the tough parts for Peach is trying to get back from disadvantage when you are yep. recovering, when you're on the ledge. Sheik is going to be at a huge advantage there, and what is Vincent going to be thinking about in those parts? Yeah, I think I like to joke that Peach is a mid tier who happens to be top tier because she has the same weaknesses that Samus has. Like you knock her off stage and she's just not a character for a while. She grabs the ledge. She doesn't have any options for a while, but she's just yeah. so Omega top tier in center stage at low percents that she can make up for it, right? So right, sometimes yeah. you just kind of like, you get knocked off stage and you just accept that you're going to be on your back foot for a while, right? There actually is no good answer, so. Oh, didn't turn around there, I think. Yeah, yeah I think Vincent did mean to turn around. That seemed mm -hmm. a little odd, but. In a position to mostly even this back up. And yep. uh, what, what, what do we know about this sheet player? Uh, Aero, not super familiar with them. I don't think I've seen them around, but uh, they seem to be holding their own right now. Uh, Vincent, I think, is or has been PR'd in the Washington area. So, yeah. uh, looking pretty good to be able to keep up right now, right? So. <laughs> Ooh, getting the roll read punish with a back air but not quite able to convert to something. You gotta be super tight to beat the uh you know down holding meta of twenty twenty one. True. And yeah, Arrow's doing that quite well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh crouch. Oh yep, go ahead. That's uh that's all she wrote, that's all I had there. Oh yeah. <laughs> taking the turn up. Okay. Nice. Old yeah. You don't see a lot of Go for the turn of catches. I think it also depends on how good your throw is as a character. True, Sheik's and Sheik has one of the better ones. And not only does she have a good throw one, she has like good options before and after. She can kind of play around with needles and stuff. And then she tends to be able to combo it with like aerials or tilts. So great dash dance, dashing just outside that dash attack range, and Vincent's in a position to hopefully take out this stock for their sake. Yep. Rinse and repeat. Cross up. Ooh, kind of oh. a tricky recovery. Didn't know if she was going to the edge or to the platform or not. Just ambiguous enough. Good movement from Vincent. That's actually low-key a hard wave dash mm -hmm. to hit, especially for a Peach when your wave dash doesn't get you a lot of distance, but clutches that out and earns a last stock situation. Yeah, I think Laud tweeted one time, he's like, real Peach mains, they just float to get to the ledge there because they're too scared to wave dash. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But good on Vincent. At a pretty high percent now and losing that trade. Yep. What are they going to do to get to the ledge? Up. Nope. Okay. okay. Avoids the down tilt. Oh, Gas attack just runs through Sheik to overshoot. Trying to control center. Arrow takes to the platforms to avoid oh, the lead. Great in there. What do you do here? Down smash? Yep. Okay. And this is tough for Sheik. Oh, a little bit of a late get up at over 100%, mm -hmm. but Vincent finds another Nair and Rinsen repeating one more time. Ah! Rolls Man. away just in time. It's anybody's game. If Peach was 9% lower, these edge guards would be so easy, right? But because yep. you're over 100%, it becomes so much trickier to find that timing. Both players taking their time. Dash. Nice. Vincent clutching out. Such an important game. These are clearly two very, very close mm -hmm. uh, competitors in terms of their overall skill. And yep. relatively early in the bracket, I, I don't know. I don't have the particular pool in front of me, but this can't be further than like round three, right? Right. So, I think so. So we're still best of three of land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is all best of three. Presumably, winner of this has to win two more sets just to get to top 64 winners. So right. the fact that this is this close is is pretty surprising, honestly, this early in the bracket. Yep. Just, West Coast has always been stacked. I mean, we know that. I think that's something you mentioned earlier, too, which is just like 
uh, everyone is more competitive in melee nowadays, and earlier and earlier rounds are becoming competitive. Like back in the days, round one or round two was a wash, and nowadays, uh -huh. round one or round two, they'll just multi shine and, and sear to death. You know, and you're like, oh crap. <laughs> so, exactly. Not... There was kind of that intermediary period too where round two would multi shine, but like they can't L cancel. Right. But now they can, and they can play neutral. Like, oh, so nightmare. <laughs> Like, everybody is is a monster now. Like, you really just, you cannot rest on your laurels. Ooh, finding the forward air offstage, that's oh. pretty much as early of a kill as you're going to find, right? About 100% finding the forward yeah. air offstage there. That's like a pseudo gimp, like that, mm -hmm. and that barely killed off the left side. Right. But Arrow in a really good spot here to try to even this up. Yeah, I think uh, Arrow got a lead last game too, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can do a, a bit more of milking his lead this time around, right? You want to kind of add on damage before you lose the stock. And Sessin doing a good job, barely losing out to that forward air off stage there. Oh my god, so man. many. But again, oh, Sessin's so good at dash dancing around that dash attack. You know that they're looking for that in particular. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't turn around again. Yeah, barely second time they've been time. able to not been able to get to the ledge. Oh, great tomahawk grab from Arrow, and what do we have here, a Nair? Yep. I've heard uh, Nair just does the most damage, so forward air, like, might send it a better angle if you're going to kill, but if you're not going to kill, Nair just does, like, 1 or 2% more. I forget exactly, right. but... <laughs> and again, Vincent barely over 100%, and that complicates things considerably. Ledge dash, forward tilt, very clean, and Arrow, we're talking about milking the lead, and just like that, two stocks taken before answer. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little tough. Oh, but this is like the perfect scenario for Sheik, getting Peach around 30%. Mm -hmm. Like, very soon, more of your options open up. Um, it's just like at 0, at 15, it's so hard to get those clean hits and not trade and lose your stock. As we say, it, Vincent finally gets their first kill of this match. Mm -hmm. But Arrow still with a very healthy lead. Yep. So, I mean, you got to be happy with that when you deal 50% before losing your stock, especially when you've already, when you're already up an additional stock like that. So, Vincent uh, definitely got the work cut out for them in order to make this comeback here. A lot of up airs getting the chase, but not quite getting the one on the top platform there. I've been seeing, I, honestly, I've been seeing more Peaches going for these up Bs in neutral, uh, mm -hmm. kind of as an anti-air. What do you think of that option? <laughs> Every time I see it, I always call it the Guilty Gear. I'm just like, it's a DP, it's a reversal, you know? <laughs> so that, right. that game just came out. It's oh. just a really fast move, and it's like, uh, I know the Parasol itself has, like, a disjoint on it, so you can catch people out of shield with an option that's faster than you expect. Uh, it's not, obviously, you don't get a huge payoff for it, right? But it's relatively hard to punish on certain stages with platform layouts and stuff. So. Moments ago, spectacular dash dancing from Arrow, right around the down smash to secure their most recent kill. Good cross-up Nair from Vincessant, and uh, if he wants to take this in two games, he's got a lot of work ahead. Yep, but technically has uh, lowered the gap a little bit from last stock, right? <laughs> this is, like, gotta count your small victories here, but just like yeah. that, Arrow is racking on even more damage. Just as Ooh, not the crowd cancel, but it's getting there. It's able to clip with the back air, that's big. Cross up from Vincent and the tomahawk grab, I love that. Ooh, interesting floating space, trying to maybe think of like, pulling out like a roll in, do you think mm -hmm. that was like the option he was waiting for? Yeah, I think so, and by kind of floating preemptively, the Sheik kind of saw uh, what Peach was going for, right? Like, it's like, well, you don't have a mix-up anymore, and just by sitting there, the Sheik had the discipline to kind of just sit there, and then not run into that, and eventually Peach's float runs out. And just like that, Sheik's able to push that advantage all the way to the end and answer back with what looked to be a really strong game too. Let's see if a counter pick can make something different here on game three, right? Yeah, um, that was that was not quite as close as game one. Looks like mm -hmm. Arrows figured something out. And to close it out, really nice tomahawk grab um, right near the ledge. Just kind of dropped down, waited for the spot dodge from Vincent. Um, we were taken right back to Battlefield. And as a Sheik in this situation, Squid, you got to imagine that Dreamland's going to be the ban. Yep. Where do you take the Sheik as a Peach main in this spot? Yeah, I don't, I don't think stages are, like, in this matchup, there's no one stage that's just, like, it's doomed, right? Because <laughs> you're always going to kind of be playing this neutral that's, like, kind of the same on every stage. Oh, it is going to be FOD. FOD kind of lets you scrap a little bit more. I don't think Arrow is, like, running away on the platform journey. Oh, my oh, God. But there Sometimes we go. you get these, these down smashes. This is why you kind of pick this. Stage. That already justifies this. I mean, that's yep. so much value, Squid. Yeah, that's more damage from a down smash than he got the entire last game, right? So <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but, okay, Arrow is already fighting back oh. quite well. Great F-tilt catching Vincent trying to grab the ledge. Oh. And ramen noodling it from him. Great movement and deceptive movement at that. What a reversal. He was looking like he was kind of getting rocked by Vincent, but is a near zero to death. I think it was actually zero to death. Yeah. 
And that's kind of how Zero to Death will look against Peach. Like, you'll, Peach will true combo you for a lot of damage, and it'll feel really oppressive. Oh my god, but great use of the turn up to recover here. But the way you got to combo her back, right, is kind of by putting her in a bad spot and keeping her there forever. And she kind exactly. of juggled Peach for an entire stock there. It was a Zero to Death where Peach didn't really have any option to counterplay, even if it wasn't, you know, quote-unquote true combo. What an explosive start from both of these players in a pivotal game three. Another Tomahawk grab from Arrow. He's found a number of those so far in this set. And I'm waiting for Vincessant to think about being a little bit more aggressive out of shield because mm -hmm. of that. Right. Can you throw out one of those preemptive nares into down smash or just a shield grab sometimes, right? Sometimes the simple stuff is the answer. Arrow almost stubbornly wanting to challenge those up and challenging Peach near the ledge. Ooh. And it's not panning out. Vincessant in a position to take the lead and steal it. Um, I thought that Arrow might have been able to make ledge, or stage rather, but goes for ledge. Yeah. And again, trying to challenge the upbeat unsuccessfully. <laughs> yeah, these these are going so back and forth right now. And I know that like Peach gets an edge guard, once again, a really low percent kill, finding a back air and Sheik with no jump. And then Sheik answering right back, not letting any extra credit be applied. And just like that, we're fighting on even footings with two stocks apiece. It's it's like insanely back and forth. Like, like one percent apart. <laughs> And it's like, you know the down smash is coming, but somehow Vincent keeps finding that value. Mm -hmm. They're fighting and, over mean, the side platforms. With Sheik kind of looking for a lot of these Tomahawks, right? It kind of, it, it's Sheik is in a mindset to kind of be tricky to, to maneuver around a move and then find an opening, which kind of potentially leaves you open to aggression, like you said. So sometimes mm -hmm. Peach just running up and preemptively throwing out that down smash can be what catches you off guard. Great jab from Vincessant. That was designed to stop the grab that was about to come up from Arrow. And Vincessant wins center stage, batting Arrow back to the ledge. But that up air is actually going to do it for the stock. Arrow with the babyest lead going into the most important stock of this entire set. Yeah. What can he do at 134? Oh, just like that. Just dies immediately, giving us the even footing that we desired for the setting up the stakes for the last stock situation on game three. Just Let's like that. So it's still trading blow for blow. Yeah, insane. Another down smash. Dash attacks the get up. Oh, Nair from the ledge. The roll gets snuffed out with the dash with the down smash. Now Sheik's turn to rack up some damage, but they oh neither of them seem to get a huge combo started. What a clutch edge cancel to avoid that down smash. And oh. finally spaces around the up B, gets the down tilt. Really nice value there. What happens here? Great fade from Vincent to get to the ledge, but this is gonna be a down throw. It's reverse forward air. And what does Vincent do here, Squid? Well, way off stage trying to cover it up. Peach has burned all her resources. No jump, no float, has no hope, but the parasol here it's gets to the land. Oh my god, gotta be patient here. Not a lot of ledge options for Peach. Tough get spot. Air dodges past the down smash, crossing up. Okay, in the cross up near, not the best DI from Arrow. He's gonna have to make it to the stage. And again, over 100%, Vincessa cannot punish. Here's a back throw. Again, not the best DI, but yep. okay. Arrow gets a ledge, slow get up, covers the roll in. Vincessa with all oh the control, hits with the god. turn up. Okay, and the down smash will not kill off the side. Oh, the Arrow turnip gets hit with the turnip. Are oh my god. Vincent players... holding on for dear life. Both players had so many clutch moments in that last talk situation. Vincent barely dash dance grabbing around, but being too scared to grab the ledge at the end because slow getup has kind of screwed him over a few times already. But in the Ew. end, finding the down smash he needed, finding the turnip snipe to kill in the edge, because I don't think that uh, Sheik was dead there without the turnip hitting him. So.